Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. We recently released the final SDK for Android Wear 2.0. This release has added support for new hardware features, material design for Android Wear, watch face complications, and more. All the details are on the post, linked in the description below. We also released Developer Preview 2 for Android Things, bringing new features and bug fixes to the platform. A summary of changes and links to the code are on the post where you'll also find a really cool sample that shows how to use TensorFlow on Android Things devices using an early access TensorFlow inference library pre-built for ARM and x86. It demonstrates accessing the camera, performing object recognition and image classification, and speaking out the results using text-to-speech. TensorFlow Fold makes it easy to implement deep learning models that operate over data of varying size and structure. It also brings the benefits of batching to such models, resulting in a speedup of more than 10x on CPU and more than 100x on GPU over alternative implementations. Links to the paper and GitHub are on the post. Google Cloud Endpoints is a fast, scalable API gateway and is now generally available. It features a server local proxy and is built on the same services that Google uses to power its own APIs. More details and links to get started are on the post linked in the description below. Please subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. For more of our previous episodes, click on the lovely links to my left, your right, right there.